Welcome everyone to this episode on the Ultimate Sports TV. Why do I sound so mad, annoyed, or just tipped off? I am having, I am very angry. Very angry. I'm furious. With people in the media saying that the Browns will not win first the AFC North. And some are saying they might not even make the playoffs. Saying the Super Bowl is not even a possibility. Let me say this right now. People who are saying this stuff, that the Browns will not make the playoffs, if you're saying in my comment section, or if anyone in the media is saying, is saying that the Browns will not make the playoffs. You do not know football. You do not know a good team. <sighs> Makes me angry. You have Odell Beckham Jr., Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry, Miles Garrett, Sheldon Richardson, Greedy Williams, Denzel Ward. And don't sleep on him, he's Demarius Randall. You have players like this. You have Antonio Callaway, David Njoku, and you're still telling me that you're gonna sit here and sleep on the Browns. Odell Beckham Jr. His making is going to make a change. You think the Browns have so many personalities? You're only saying that because Odell is here. No one else has, um, like a big personality like him. Don't you think Odell kind of learned his lesson? He, he wants a new start. So why do you think he got traded from the Giants? That's one of the reasons he got traded from the Giants. Because he wanted a new start with another team. And this team is the Browns. You think his friend Jarvis Landry can hold him down? Yes. You think him and his friend Jarvis Landry are going to be mad because one person is getting more catches than the other? No. I got to calm myself down right here. I got to calm myself down. I'm tired of people disrespecting Cleveland. Some even disrespect the fans. I know our history has been bad, but don't sleep on the Browns. Here's the thing. The Rams were bad before they moved to LA and made Jared Goff their starter the next season after whoever their quarterback was. Um, I think it was Sam Bradford, Nick Foles, I don't know. One of those dudes or some other dude. You put Jared Goff in. You get Todd Gurley. You have Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. You make the playoffs, but you stumble. The Browns almost made the playoffs this year. So why can't you compare them to the Rams that year? Before they make the Super Bowl. I know they didn't make the playoffs, but they were super close. So don't sleep on them. And then you have the Rams the second year coming back in the playoffs. Going into the Super Bowl playing the Patriots even though they lost. Jared Goff. Third year quarterback. Baker Mayfield second year quarterback. It's only a one year difference. You have Odell Beckham Jr. Jarvis Landry. Miles Garrett. How are you saying the Browns will not win the AFC North? Do the do the Steelers have a good defense? No. Do they have two great wide receivers? Do they have a great tight end? No. Do they have a young quarterback? No. Ben Roethlisberger could get his head knocked off. They don't have a good offensive line, really. I mean, it's decent. But Ben Roethlisberger could get his head knocked off and ends the Steelers' chances. 
of making the playoffs and winning the AFC North. <sighs> Makes me upset. Why? I'm tired of people talking about the Browns like this. Yes, we've had a bad history, but that's not what's happening right now. We have a better general manager, maybe a better coach. And trust me, Freddie Kitchens knows how to grind. You hear it in the way he talks. And he did good for those final games in the regular season. Don't sleep on the Browns. I want to get more into comparing them to other teams and talking about the players they have. You have the Patriots. Yes, you do. Who they lost Rob Gronkowski. Tom Brady's going to turn 42. They won't have Sony Michelle at the start of the season. They won't have Julius Edelman. They only have Demarius Thomas in their rookie wide receiver. They don't have a defense. They lost key defenders. Some are saying that they're still going to make the Super Bowl. Don't say that. There's the Chargers, there's the Colts, there's the Browns, there's the Chiefs. I want to get to the Browns and the Chiefs. Do the Chiefs have a good D-line? Do the Chiefs have a good secondary? I mean, they got the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. But do they have a good defense overall? And that answer is no. They have a good offense. Here's my problem. People are talking about these teams that have great offenses, but not so great defenses. And they will beat the Browns out or um, be more successful than the Browns. The Browns have a good offense, right? Yeah, like those other teams. Do the Browns also have a good defense? Yes, they do. So I don't want to hear anything out of anyone's mouth that the Browns will not win the AFC North. Because the, pay, the the Steelers, the Pittsburgh Steelers, do not have a defense. They, they don't have a quarterback that still has some years left. To me, Ben Roethlisberger has about one, two, three years left. Should have already been retired. Sorry, but this is just making me real angry. Guys, thanks for watching this episode on the Ultimate Sports TV. This is The Ranker.